Hi friends, this is Hassan Moshiri. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build one of these lithium ion lithium polymer battery chargers. As you can see, it supports two, uh, it provides two holders to, to insert the lithium ion and two connectors uh, to connect the lithium polymer batteries. Lithium ion, I mean this size of lithium ion batteries. And lithium polymer could be anything from small ones, for example, this one to the bigger ones. The difference is just the capacity. Uh, the charging current of this charger is adjustable. You can, it can charge the batteries from 15 milliamps up to 500 milliamps. So it covers a variety of batteries and a variety of applications. Uh, the only thing you need to do is to connect a USB Type-C cable to this connector. Go in like this and then for example connect this side for example one of these mobile chargers this one is 5 volts 2 amps from samsung if you have iphone doesn't matter the output is 5 volts volts just connect this side to this and then uh, connect this to the mains and the charging starts when the charging is finished there is a, a led on the top of this uh, on the top where it indicates that the charging process is finished then you can remove your battery and then the charging process is done to design the schematic and pcb i used altium designer 22 I used the IPC rated Symaxis component libraries to import the missing schematic symbols, PCB footprints, and the 3D models. I used the component searchengine.com to find and purchase original components for the project. I used the PCB way fabricated PCB boards and finally use the Siglent SDM30 for the 5x multimeter to check the voltages. So let's get started. All right, this is the schematic diagram and this is the PCB layout in Altium Designer. Designing the circuits and PCBs in Altium is pretty easy and straightforward. I have provided a link in the video description where you can download the latest version of the Altium and activate it with the free legal license. So just visit the video description. Uh, this is the USB Type-C connector and the heart of the circuit are these two charger chips from microchip. I did not have the schematic symbols and PCB footprint for this chip so uh, I had installed the Symaxis Altium plugin where you can access from the file menu or here. Let, let's click here and search for the component. MCP 73831 and press the search or enter. All right, this is the search results. From the search results, I had selected the first one because the first one is says uh, description is uh, description is battery management lithium ion polymer and etc the only thing you need to do is just press add to design and that's it i don't press this because i have already added this component 
to the uh, to the pro uh, PCB project. Uh, I can explain the schematic here. However, as you know, I always provide an article with a video where you can access more description, Gerber's schematic, and much more information. So I don't explain the schematic here. Just it elongates elongates the video. Just visit the article link in the video description. Let's go to the PCB and activate the single layer view. So this is the bottom side. There is, there is a, it's a solid copper except this track. And this is the top side. And this is the silk screen layer. Let's go to 3D. This is a 3D view. Mm, and let's go to the bottom side. There we go. You shouldn't have any problem in soldering the components. Uh, and you can find them pretty easy. Especially this chip you can find in the famous distributors. Uh, let's come back. Uh, nothing very much uh, because as I said uh, I provide more details in the article so nothing very much remains here except the uh, practical check before I go because you must uh, let's go to the schematic you must find the original component uh, of this chip because uh, fakes don't work as except as expected okay so the only way I use to find original components is through the component search engine.com which is this website component search engine.com let's search for the component MC, MCP 73831 press the search and from the search results uh, the first one is our desired one. You can you see, and uh, that's the chip, that's the uh, package so, package that I like. So just press this one. Schematic symbols, PCB foot symbol, PCB footprint, 3D model, and stock and prices. Check stock and prices. Press this button, and there we go. You can uh, purchase the component from a variety of known distributors. The minimum order of this DG key is one. So the price for one is 69 cents. So uh, if you want to buy in, uh, in low quantity, so maybe you're gonna check this one or if you want to buy in high quantity minimum order is 3000 of course the price would be different okay there are right as i said variety of distributors just check what you want and buy for, press buy from this from buy from distributor and that's it all right welcome to the test bench now i want to show you how this charger circuit works let me just connect the USB Type-C cable to the board. There we go. This blue LED uh, shows a proper power connection to the board. Now, uh, I want to connect one lithium polymer battery to this channel, channel 2. Uh, I have configured the channel 2 for 100 milliamps charging current because my battery is small it's just 200 milliamps battery and i want to charge it with the uh, half c a half of the capacity of the battery which is 100 milliamps okay so the only thing i need to do is to just connect this wire to the board and we will wait when this led D2 which is red lights up when this LED lights up it means the charging cycle 
has been completed successfully. All right, now this red LED indicates that the battery is fully charged and it is ready for use. This is the voltage of my fully charged battery. There is some um, a very small difference till 4.20 volts. However, I believe this difference is because of the quality of the battery itself or its protection circuit. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.